Welcome back to the energy conversion lectures. In a previous lecture, we provided some details about the armature concentrated windings. One of the important points we mentioned in a previous lecture is that the salient pole synchronous machine with concentrated winding can have trapezoidal rotor magnetic field distribution and trapezoidal back EMF induced voltage if we do not design the rotor properly. Therefore, in this lecture, we will continue our discussion about this point and try to learn how to improve the trapezoidal rotor magnetic field distribution and the back EMF induced voltage waveform when we have salient pole synchronous machine with concentrated armature windings. Note that in a previous lecture, we have assumed that the rotor magnetic field distribution and the back EMF induced voltage are sinusoidal waveforms. Now, assume we have these two poles, single phase synchronous machine with salient pole rotor and concentrated armature windings represented by phase A coil. This figure shows same machine if we flattened the machine. We mentioned in a previous lecture that the shape of the rotor magnetic field distribution of this machine looks like trapezoidal waveform. The reason of this trapezoidal waveform is that the air gaps under the area of the rotor poles are equal or same. Therefore, the reluctance of the rotor magnetic field under the area of the rotor poles are equal or same. Now, since the rotor magnetic field distribution is a trapezoidal waveform, the rotor rotating magnetic field will be trapezoidal. Therefore, the shape of the phase induced back EMF voltage waveform which induced by the rotor rotating magnetic field is a trapezoidal waveform as well. It is very important to know that the trapezoidal waveform or the non-sinusoidal waveform of the induced back EMF voltage ER consists of two main components, wanted component plus unwanted components. The wanted component is called the fundamental component, which is a pure sinusoidal waveform with a frequency equal to 60 Hz or 50 Hz. The unwanted components, represented by some of odd harmonic components, such as the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 9th, and so on. These odd harmonic components are also pure sinusoidal waveforms. For example, if the fundamental frequency is 60 Hz, then the third order harmonic is sinusoidal waveform component with a frequency equal to 3 times 60 Hz and equal to 180 Hz. It is worth to mention again that the unwanted harmonic components of the trapezoidal waveform contain only odd order harmonics. The even order harmonics are absent or not exist because of the symmetry of the trapezoidal induced voltage. That means even order harmonics are not exist because the positive half cycle of the waveform is equal or identical to the negative half cycle of the waveform. So now we know that the unwanted harmonics are all odd order harmonics. These odd harmonics can be classified into three components. The low frequency dominant harmonics or low order harmonics, the high frequency harmonics or high order harmonics, and the tooth or slot harmonics. The low order dominant harmonics represented by 3rd, 5th, 
seventh and ninth harmonics. In case of the high order harmonics, the high order harmonics represented by the harmonics greater than ninth order harmonics. In terms of the slot harmonics, the slots harmonics represents the harmonics that are generated because of the impact of the stator slots. Basically, the slot harmonics are specific or certain type of high frequency harmonics existing in the induced back EMF voltage because of the impact of the stator slots. Note that we were always ignoring these types of harmonics component in our drawing. It is worth to mention here that in practical machines, the frequency range of the tooth or slot harmonics is between 1380 Hz and 1500 Hz in 60 Hz machine. We will give more idea about these harmonics during the discussion of the distributed windings. Now pay attention to this important point. In a practice, the armature back EMF induced voltage ER should be ideally containing only the fundamental component with a frequency of 60 Hz or 50 Hz. Therefore, the unwanted harmonic components should be eliminated or reduced. In general, the elimination or reduction of the unwanted harmonic components can be achieved by using two approaches. The first approach, or design freedom, is through the modification of the rotor construction design. The second approach, or design freedom, is through the armature windings design. Now pay attention to this important point. In case of synchronous machine with concentrated windings, we have only one design freedom or design approach to eliminate or reduce some of the harmonics. This design freedom is by modifying the rotor construction design. That means there is no room for improvement within the concentrated windings for reducing the harmonics. Now, by modifying the rotor design, the high frequency harmonic components can be eliminated or reduced. That means the low order harmonic components and slot harmonics cannot be eliminated or reduced with the use of concentrated windings of synchronous machine. So the synchronous machine with concentrated windings does not have design freedom for eliminating harmonics through the armature concentrated windings. Now in case of synchronous machine with distributed windings, there are more design freedoms for eliminating or reducing the harmonics. The first design freedom is by modifying the rotor design similar to the synchronous machine with concentrated windings. That means by modifying the rotor design, the high frequency components can be eliminated or reduced. The second design freedom is through the distributed armature windings design. Basically, by using or designing the distributed windings, the high frequency harmonics and the low frequency harmonics and the slot harmonics can be reduced or eliminated. It is very clear from this discussion that improving the rotor construction design can eliminate or reduce the high order harmonics of the back EMF induced voltage for both the concentrated and distributed windings synchronous machines. Therefore, let's focus in this lecture on how to eliminate the high order harmonics by modifying the rotor design 
and we will cover elimination of other harmonics during the discussion of the distributed armature windings in the upcoming lecture. Assume we have these two poles, three-phase synchronous machine with salient pole rotor and concentrated windings. This figure shows same machine if we flatten the machine. As we can see, the air gap under the center of the pole is equal to the air gap at the sides of the pole. As mentioned before, this type of rotor design that have same air gap or reluctance under the pole faces will produce rotor magnetic field distribution close to trapezoidal waveform when it is excited. Therefore, the induced back EMF voltage ER in the concentrated coil will be trapezoidal as well. Note that we have assumed before that these waveforms are sinusoidal waveform. Now, to improve the trapezoidal waveforms of the rotor magnetic field distribution and the induced back EMF voltage and achieve close to sinusoidal waveforms, the salient pole rotor can be designed as shown. As we can see, with this new rotor design, the air gap between the rotor and the stator is not same under the area of the pole face. Basically, the air gap is small under the center of the rotor poles and large towards the sides of the rotor poles. That means the reluctance is low under the center of the rotor poles comparing with the reluctance that is toward the sides of the rotor poles. This modification of the salient pole rotor design will eliminate or reduce the high order harmonics from the trapezoidal rotor magnetic field distribution and therefore the rotor magnetic field distribution will become close to sinusoidal waveform as shown. Note that the shape of the back EMF induced voltage waveform ER of phase A will be improved as well and become close to sinusoidal waveform as shown. As we can see, it is very clear that the induced back EMF voltage of phase A have been improved. However, the induced back EMF voltage ER will still have the low order harmonic components and the slot harmonics. Note that the waveforms in these figures may not reflect the actual waveforms with all low order harmonics. Also, the slot harmonics are not shown in these waveforms. However, we can create small project using MATLAB simulating to simulate the actual shape of the phase induced back EMF voltage waveform with the existence of the low order harmonics and slot harmonics. This figure shows an example how to simulate the back EMF induced voltage with the existence of the low order harmonics and the slots harmonics. In the upcoming lecture, we will cover the armature distributed windings and we will show the main differences between the concentrated and distributed windings. Also, we will see how the distributed windings can be used to eliminate or reduce the low order harmonics and the slot harmonics of the phase back EMF induced voltage. In addition, we will see how the distributed windings can also cause additional reduction to the high frequency harmonic components of the phase back EMF induced voltage. Let's conclude this lecture at this point and we will continue in the next lecture. Let me know if you have any question. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel 
so you do not miss any lecture. Thanks for listening. I am Ihsan al-Nabi and it was a pleasure sharing this lecture with you. Thank you.